When you hear the phrase 3D printer, the image that pops into your head is most likely that of a traditional filament deposition modeling or FDM printer. These are the ones that take a spool of thermoplastic, heat it up, and squirt it through a nozzle to create objects layer by layer. This technology has progressed in leaps and bounds over the past few years and continues to improve today, but there's a different 3D printing technique out there that's slowly but surely overtaking it. What we're talking about is stereolithography, or SLA printing technology. Instead of melting plastic to create objects layer by layer, SLA printers use an ultraviolet laser projection system to grow objects out of a pool of UV curable resin. This technique has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, but generally speaking, it's able to produce higher quality prints in a shorter amount of time when compared to your average FDM printer. They're faster because, unlike the MakerBots and Ultimakers of the world, SLA printers don't have to move a heated nozzle around a build plate. In order to create a layer, all they need to do is flash a laser onto the resin tray for a couple seconds. Resolution and layer thickness are all controlled by the diameter and intensity of the laser. Whereas a big, high-resolution print on an FDM printer might take anywhere from four to five hours, it's considerably faster on an SLA machine. Thing is, there aren't a lot of SLA printers on the market just yet. There's only a few consumer-oriented models out there, and one of the first ones available is the one we're looking at right now, the Form 1 Plus from Form Labs. It's basically a new and improved version of the company's original Form 1 printer, and it's a beast. It's twice as fast as the first generation, and it's capable of printing layers as thin as 25 microns. That's drastically higher than the resolution that most FDM printers offer. One of the cool things about it is it's actually designed to just sit right on your desk. It's really small and compact, and it actually plugs directly into your computer, so you could just have it sitting right next to your desktop. But all that extra speed and definition don't come cheap. The machine retails for 3,300 bucks, and once you run out of resin, extra bottles cost 150 bucks. That's definitely pretty steep, but just look at those prints. To initiate a print, all you've got to do is fill up the tray with the resin of your choice, plug in your computer with the model information, hit the start button, and just walk away. The downside, however, is that you've got to deal with resin. Prints come out dripping in goo, which needs to be washed off in a bath of isopropyl alcohol before the print can be handled. Also, because the resin is UV curable, you've got to be really careful to keep it out of bright light, or else it'll harden and degrade. Smartly, this big orange cover filters out UV light and keeps the resin from hardening. It takes a bit of extra work, and it's a much messier process, but if you want fast, high-resolution prints, SLA is definitely your best bet. The resin can be a challenge to work with. It's sticky, it's stinky, and it's really hard to get off your hands. But after your first few prints, you'll get familiar with it, and it'll start to be a much more efficient process. If you want to get your hands dirty and try out an SLA printer, the Form 1 Plus from Form Labs is available right now.